Yo, what is up everyone? This is Klaus, and I'm partnered with... Hello everyone, I'm Mari Van Girl 93. And what you're seeing here... You're, you're not seeing things. It's like... I had a, um, quote-unquote friend here... Who was just talking t to me about a couple random pieces of bullshit here. And, like, bullshit is kind of, like, the nicest way I can put it. Yeah. How long you met her? I'd say... Uh, roughly a couple... I'd say roughly like a week ago. Hmm... Or nearly two weeks here. And I am not fucking happy about it. Honestly, at this point, neither am I. Okay. So, the reason I am kind of, like, angry about it is, like, see, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, like, living with a roommate and stuff, and stuff so... I was, like, typing along, and, um, like, they came in, and it's like, uh, you realize that's a potential scammer, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking scammers, I can't stand them. Alright, but before we get into that, we're gonna, to, uh, well, actually, she's gonna go into it, but, um... She's gonna have, she also has some, like, grievances to, um, with this thing. That's why I'm gonna refer to her as a thing. Yeah. And normally it wouldn't allow, um, drama on my channel. But I think it's appropriate to make an exception here. Yeah, sounds appropriate to me. So, Sam, you go ahead. Okay, I have the messages on the Skype chat right here. And this chick is called, I uh, don't know how to pronounce her name exactly. I think it's um, Zion Nee or something. Z um, Zion Nee, I, I don't know. But because she sounds like she's from another country. We're just gonna call her Zip Butt. <laughs> yeah. That's what I prefer as. And this is what the messages said right here. First one, what she said to you. And you sent me the quote right here. So here's what she says. So I want to know about you talking about long distance relationship. But I hope you do have a girlfriend that you are dating, right? Okay, stop right there. She assumed that I was looking for a relationship. <sighs> oh my god. Which is very fucking stupid because she does realize that you're in a relationship with me. I, I did tell her that. But like, she assumed I was looking for a relationship. And in all actuality, I was just seeking friends. Drum or right way, if you'd stick, just stick as friends, you know, when you just met. Right. And th there's another red flag in there. She went into that. And I didn't even know her that well. <sighs> I hardly knew her. At all. Neither am I, and... Because she's like a stranger to you, but... <clears throat> that bitch right... Right there on that red flag right here when I... Before I just decided to read it. After what I just read about it, the first two messages that she said to you, you... That, um... That you said, I, I do, actually, but you, she's across country. And then, she says, okay... Where exactly it is she, is she? Can I know? <sighs> Stalker much? Cl 
clearly. So I, like, I ran along and I, I told her that you live in New York. And yeah, I mainly pulled the quotes of importance. Yes. Yeah, I just find it important because, you know, um, I am from another state. And she wanted to know about, you know, uh, which I believe, you know, that type of question is really none of her freaking business, you know. And this is where it gets worse. Okay, here is the worst part. So, prepare for yourselves, guys, because I suggest lower your volume, because that part I will yell into this rant. She, so. She's going to get loud. Trust me on this. Okay. And there's... Okay, before I point this out, here's what she says here. So, when... When I am going to get my chance to have you. Okay. Here's something I have to say here. How fucking dare you stole my boyfriend here. Seriously. Are you a fucking... Are you fucking retarded? Uh, you, Seriously, you, you bitch. You mean how dare you try to s steal me from you? <sighs> that which is... I'm fucking pissed off about it, cause I can, as far as I can tell, what by her, she tried to steal a relationship here, just you know, by you and her instead of her and me. Seriously, how fucking dare her? Hey, at the time I didn't get that's what he meant, so I asked her like, "What do you mean?" <sighs> Seriously. <sighs> Zan a whore, just call Zan a, a bitch, I would just refer to as. Fuck you! I prefer zip butts, personally, but yeah. If you could, if you could see right here, take those middle fingers right here, and leave Klaus, but leave Klaus alone! Okay, you weren't being seen here, but I'm just going to get you into the recorder zone, so, so that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's, like you said, oh, that question. That no, oh, nobody saw your middle fingers. Now you're in the recording zone. See that right here? This is where you get... For her, that is harassment for what you did to Klaus. Leave him alone. Okay, going further. Okay. Our next quote and reads. But. And this is from you. All right, I'm I'm skipping ahead. <laughs> All right, what I told her was, before that can even have a chance of happening, I would have to know you better. So I just gave her the no. Yeah. Because like what I said here. Let me just highlight it real quick. Before that can even have a chance of happening. Oh, yeah. That's that's a pretty obvious no if I ever seen one. You made a very smart move here. Yeah, I'm not the kind of guy who who go into a blind relationship. Did the right thing here, huh? I know I did. But this next quote is where things get. A bit irritating. Okay. The next message that she says, but I hope you are, I already told you my name and where I am from and what I do, right? <sighs> really, bitch? Really, bitch? Really? Do you, do you really have to question? 
Captain Klaus about it? What the fuck is wrong with you? And at the time, you did not tell me where you're from or what you do. But exactly. Which, um, you told me she's at a university, and which, <laughs> get this. If it weren't for that net, if, if it weren't for this next message that's about to be on screen, I would have assumed that he was in university for gender studies. Perhaps she does studying about this. <laughs> you know how damaging that um, gender studies degree are. are. Is that gender studies degrees? Oh yes. Just like that one Simpsons quote, you can always fall back on a degree on communications. Oh dear lord. And my another issue here with this bitch here. She also leaves multiple messages here. Just you know, just okay, more than two. Multiple messages isn't exactly my issue. I have to go into the third mode. Sorry about that. The Waluigi chat is just going. Yes, I'm in a Skype group chat called the Waluigi Nexus. Which is very irrelevant yeah, to this video. Even anyway, it's irrelevant. I don't want to important to mention. Okay. Now. Wanna, well, here's another thing that she says right here. Well, besides, you know, I am, you know, studying home econ economics, and I, and I'm in my last year though. Here's what she uh, says here: these that, two um, messages. Yeah, I don't. This is where. I, yeah, that that's uh, that's what I mean when I, when I say um I would have I would have assumed that she was in gender studies. I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Home economics is basically cooking. But yeah. Yeah. Delving into the worst of the two. Uh, I, okay, I wouldn't call this the worst of the two. We went over the worst of it. But this is where we're going to get into the stupidity of the situation. Go ahead. Okay. These two messages right here. The first one right here when I see and she says... I don't know, Coda. I'm not really into <laughs> such kindness, so you, you can you, so you can just go <laughs> on with that. But I really want, but I really want okay. you to help me with something, please. Okay, before I before I said something here, her English isn't very good and all. I know she's from another country, but she needs to learn more Coda, English. Not really into such kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Great glomer there. Or I would, well, not just, well, not really just grammar, because she's from a non, uh, uh, another country, but it's more like her bad English. Weak is what? <laughs> nice English there. Bitch. Okay, okay, I, I think you need to distort that a little more to to really get the point home. Nice English there, bot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then she says, Have I ever talked to you about my mother? Creepy. <sighs> Creepy indeed. Because, uh, you know, go ahead about it, because... <sighs> Never done. I I don't believe she ever told you about your uh, about her mother. You know. Not the point of her messaging that. So I I I I, uh, I brought it to her attention that this is the first time she brought it up. And this is where she makes her erroneous claim. <sighs> Okay, now there's something going off topic, that, you know, just about, you know, what she says here about, just about her mother here. 
and it's actually on topic with her because this is what she's bringing across. And this is where I have to face palm this. And here's what she says. Oh, okay. She has been admitted at the hospital for the past two months. And then I have been brought, buying drugs and paying hospital bills. My account is dried up, and I, and I am really pleading, pleading with you to help me with something little to pay for her rest of drugs and bills. Oh my God! Really? I think uh, when she, um, if she done the same thing to me, I would never give her the the bills because. I have to get important bills just pay for rent and something like that because it's really important. I have to find a new homework and whatnot. Yeah, this is where uh, yeah, and this is where my roommate basically told me about like this this possibly being a scam that I should I I shouldn't send anything to her. You know, Klaus, this bitch kind of reminded me of someone. Just you know, want just want you know, just pleading and you know, just to help getting extra money and such. Mm-hmm. This is back in two thousand fourteen. Oh, you mean that cunt I did a rant about like nearly two years ago? Year and a half ago, actually. But yeah, but um, it's because then she closed her Facebook account. But actually, um. Another re- another relevancy to this Actually, video no. here. Okay, I, I don't care if it's irrelevant. I'm gonna just say it anyways. He's um her account was okay. her account was closed to do mass um reporting. Thank fuck. Yes. So, that bitch you um blackmail Klaus. Just fuck you. Back to this bitch of what she did to you re- um recently. <sighs> and my roomie is very trustworthy, so he th- so like he thinks that um he might be scamming me. There you go. She is a scammer. I can already tell. You know what? On this message right here. Oh, and you're gonna love what Sam said to her. Okay. Okay. And this one last message before I report it and block her. And here's what I have to say. It's all in caps. How fucking dare you steal my boyfriend here? That's harassment. You can't be in a relationship with a guy you just met. That's wrong, you bitch. And I heard that you're a scammer and you told Klaus to help in, quote, hospital bills and drugs. So for attempting to for stealing my boyfriend, fuck you. You are reported and blocked. Goodbye. Go fuck yourself, you bitch. Which I heavily applauded that, and I'm applying that now. Thank you very much. So yeah. The whole point of this video is not only to put her on the spot, but to warn you, like, if someone like this should come along randomly, and, like, they ask you for, like, money, like, right out of the gate, or, like, whenever, whenever they toss out some... Whenever they tell us stories like, hey, my brother's in the hospital, I need money for drugs in the hospital, or whatever the hell, or whatever the fuck they decide to concoct. You hear skepticism and question it. Yeah. If there is any scammers out here, just stay away from them. If there's just pleading for money here, then don't give it to them, cause or else 
you're in big trouble. And ask for proof. Too. Like, ask, ask for evidence. Yes. Evidence. Because evidence speaks way, way louder than words. Well, that's about all I wanted to say. That's all I have same to here. say. Yeah, same here. I have. That's all I have to say for this bitch here. So, Zane, I got two words for you. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. That's a really good note to end things on. Mm, that is pretty much last, pretty good, good last words here, right? Yeah, pretty much. So, my last words out here in this, in this video. Zit butt. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and steal the words of part-time John. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.